Welcome back to Viral here. In this video, we are going to talk about 7 myths about cryptocurrency. So before starting, please like this video, and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Cryptocurrencies have taken the world by storm since their inception. Despite their success, many people do not understand how cryptocurrencies work and find them perplexing. Unfortunately, the idea of cryptocurrency is still in its infancy and is widely misunderstood, leading to the spread of many myths about it. Take a look at how much attention and engagement Bitcoin has gotten in just a short period of time, and you'll see that it's kind of a big deal. According to a recent study, more than 75% of Americans are acquainted with cryptocurrencies, and the trend is spreading globally. However, this comes at a price. A lot of familiarity combined with a lack of knowledge can lead to a slew of misunderstandings. Although not all of them are completely incorrect, a little insight does not go a long way and sometimes leads to misunderstanding. Here are some of the myths about cryptocurrencies, let's start. Number 7. Cryptocurrency is only used by the dark web and criminals. You will see cryptocurrencies being used for everyday transactions like computers. Dell revealed in July that it would participate in a pilot program with Coinbase, a third-party payment processor, to accept Bitcoin for transactions made in the United States. Dell extended the service to include Canada and the United Kingdom on February 19. Newsweek released a cover story titled, The Rise and Fall of Silk Road, The Dark Web's Amazon, a comprehensive account of how Bitcoin was used to fund a multi-million dollar drug company, on the same day that Dell announced the extension of its Bitcoin program. This story outperformed Dell's more mundane announcement by appealing to people's fear of the unknown, which seems to be at the root of much of the cryptocurrency skepticism. While it is true that criminals and other unsavory characters use cryptocurrency to conduct their company, the same individuals often use traditional currencies. Number 6. Cryptocurrency needs intrinsic value to be useful. It won't take long to come across this objection, which is based on the idea that cryptocurrency, unlike a tangible asset like gold, has no intrinsic value, rendering it useless. Bitcoin is described by Michael Kamani, a financial trader specializing in cryptocurrency, as a digital scarce commodity that has been compared to gold, digital gold for a digital era. Bitcoin is comparable to other limited supply commodities such as precious metals, Kamani continued, adding that the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, has controlled and classified Bitcoin as a commodity. To consider cryptocurrency as a commodity, one must consider markets, which assign value to whatever is exchanged. The value of cryptocurrency, like every other market, is determined by supply and demand. Even if cryptocurrency has no intrinsic value, it is incorrect to assume that it has no value. Number 5. Cryptocurrency mining has a massive energy footprint. Bitcoin mining is the process by which coins are created and transactions are verified. It is energy intensive and harmful to the environment, according to some critics. The explanation for this is Bitcoin's proof of work, consensus algorithm, which allows all blockchain nodes to process and verify every single transaction. However, several steps are being taken to increase the efficiency of cryptocurrency mining. Ethereum recently published Ethereum 2.0, which includes many steps for reliable, scalable mining, including the proof of stake consensus algorithm. POS enables the mining process to be delegated to a smaller number of nodes while maintaining the blockchain platform's protection. Many famous cryptocurrencies already use POS, and Bitcoin is expected to follow suit soon, dramatically reducing cryptocurrency mining's energy footprint. Number 4. It's trying to replace money. The industry's rapid turnover has some observers questioning if cryptocurrencies are actually currencies. Some believe that even more drastic changes are on the way. Are you one of them? People in high positions in various financial institutions are sometimes scandalized by cryptocurrency's perceived challenge to fiat supremacy. Bitcoin is a con, crypto is toxic, it can't be used, and it'll never be a substitute for fiat money. Is anybody seriously expecting crypto to replace fiat money in the near future, despite the fact that certain voices seem to be protesting a little too much at the oncoming revolt targeting old-school opaque and over-centralized institutions? 
and the most enthusiastic backers still see widespread implementation rather than a full replacement of the current system. Cryptocurrency aims to provide an alternative that is quicker, more stable, less expensive, and irreversible, without the need for third-party approval and supervision. The aeroplane has not replaced the automobile, and phone lines have not been cut off since the invention of email. Number 3. Cryptocurrencies are for finance people and too confusing for regular ones. Because of the necessary code, creating cryptocurrencies is not an easy task. Nevertheless, most people do not know how to make real money, so the situation is similar. Just as you don't need to know how to build a phone in order to use one, you don't need to know anything about cryptocurrencies in order to use them. Knowing the fundamentals is sufficient for activities such as trading, saving, or simply owning. Managing crypto won't be difficult if you already know how to work with real money online. Those systems are identical, and they are simple to use. The best way to cope is to learn about it. Cryptocurrencies will undoubtedly be around for a long time, and avoiding them will not help. Cash will still be preferred by traditional people, but that does not mean it is the best option. Everyone should be open to new ideas, and although new ideas aren't necessarily better, they can be. Number 2. It's anonymous. When people are learning about cryptocurrency for the first time, they often underestimate the extent of anonymity it provides. Cryptocurrencies are not the same as traditional currencies. Bitcoin, the mother of all crypto, is pseudonymous rather than anonymous. It does not reveal the user's personal data throughout the transaction. Nevertheless, regular people may track identities through the blockchain, and there are sophisticated tools that include blockchain forensics for illegal activities to various governmental and financial institutions. Other cryptocurrencies offer much more privacy. Dash, for example, is based on privacy. Even so, using crypto on such exchanges also necessitates the submission of personal information, and many collaborate with governments in the detection of fraudulent activity. Number 1. It's too complicated for regular people. In certain ways, the code used to create cryptocurrency is more complicated than the code used to create fiat money, however, you don't need to know much about either to use their product. Cryptocurrency can be as easy or as complicated as the ability to use it. You don't need to be a vehicle engineer to drive your car, and the same is true for crypto. If all you want to do is own it, trade it, invest in it, and so on, all you need to know is which exchanges to use and which wallets to use. Over the past few years, the user interface for digital assets has vastly improved, and you can now use cryptocurrency in digital transactions over the internet in almost the same way you would fiat money. As you might expect, there's a lot of crypto-related muddle floating about. So that's it for today. Did you like our video? Let us know in the comments what myths have you heard about cryptocurrencies. If you enjoyed watching the video and would like to hear from us again, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching.